Welcome back, everybody, to another uh, Guilds of Innistrad slash Gel Gate Gate Keep Draft. <sighs> God, I feel like uh, it's just gonna devolve into like it's gonna be the most like surreal abstract comedy ever. Eventually, like the it's just gonna be me. Just letting it all go, not even caring. No sugar guns on a meat free conquer fan, bro. The hanging would be I eat sugar and other things. I just don't feel like wasting it on drinks. Like, I I drink a lot uh of liquid. I had to I had to clarify because otherwise it would sound like I'm a drunk, but like Um Yeah, like if I go to a restaurant and get a drink, I'm probably gonna get like four refills because I just drink a lot. And so I realized if I was drinking soda, like, it's like an extra seven or 800 calories that I just don't need to be consuming. So that's when I switched to, like, diet drinks or just water. And I'm just like, hey, four or five refills of diet soda or water. No sugar. That's silly because I don't need 800 extra calories floating because that's, that's stupid. How long is it because – how long is it going to be before they do a set that's an Innistrad Ravnica crossover? Oh, that would be sick, though. I don't think it's ever possible, though. Have you tried hint water? I don't think so. All right, you ready? Here, let's do it. It's going to be a good one. It's got to make up for the last one. That's a good one. Murmuring Mystic, also a good one. Guys, do we go for the Tajik and see if this bodyguard comes back, or do we take this Murmuring Mystic? Drinkhint.com. <laughs> I'm gonna take this drink hint. Hint is flavored water that isn't carbonated, so it's actually not so it's actually not bad. I can attest to price demand for refills at restaurants. That's true. We were hanging out in New York and I was like, do they have refills here? I'm gonna be I'm real thirsty. When I tell people I don't drink coffee, they ask what I drink, and I say water or beer, which definitely sounds bad. <laughs> yeah, because it makes it sound like you're drinking them in equal proportions. I think I like Tajik better than Mystic. <sighs> yeah, this is a better build around. Oh, just fantastic. Yep, that's pretty good. Fun fact, New York City is not a refill-friendly city. That is true, and I've learned this every single time I go. Wow, fine broker. Well, that's a thing, and there are not very many. I'm going to take this just in case. Because I'm not going to take Boris Guild. I just don't care about Guild Gates in the two-color deck. I don't take Torch Courier or Goblin Locksmith or Collar the Culprit. I don't think those are great. I'm just going to take Fine Broker. You need some tea in your life? I'll put some tea in your life. You got her. <laughs> oh boy, we have a good time. I do like some tea actually. Tea is probably my preferred drink over coffee though, so. You ever see the movie The Faculty? I actually haven't seen The Faculty. Uh, Alright, so no great Golgari here, but no great Boros here either, so what the shit? God, what's going on with these drafts? It's Friday night, my girlfriend's at her parents, I bet she thinks I'm watching porn when she's not around, but she has no idea. <laughs> okay, well, that's good. Oh, man. That's true. I do have a tea in between there. Frank, you watched Wil Wilfred with Elijah Wood. I have not watched Wilfred either. Oh, God. Whisper Agents would go with this, but I really don't. It might be Hazda Marshall just because... I'm going to take the Hazda Marshall. Oh, a direct current. All right. Now we're back on track. We're doing it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to shrink this sideboard down because there's no reason it's that big. Wilfred is really good if you're in dark movie, dark humor. Little does she know, it's much worse. I was hanging out with Frank and me undies. Ba -do 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 -do.
Gatekeeper Gorgoyle. Wow. Wow. None of these cards are any good. I don't understand where our cards are going. Urchin isn't terrible to mentor out there, which is kind of funny. I'll take it. Thank you. Oh my god, 42 gifts. <laughs> Chase. Billy, why are you the way that you are? Which is extremely generous, by the way. Oh boy. Thank you, Billy. Really appreciate it, buddy. Give me a pro tip, Frank. When do you usually feel you are locked in your colors? Sorry if you answered this question a lot. Pack one halfway through. Um, when I only feel like I'm locked in my colors when I'm consistently getting cards for my colors. Like right now, I feel like I... And also, when you feel like you have too many good cards to give up, it's not really... There's no real specific number. It's just a... <laughs> I get a big... Oh, man. So like, these packs are not good. I agree with you. I'm probably going to take the Sure Strike because there's a lot of two drops that you can get. Um, like, right now, I feel like I have a lot of red cards that I really don't want to give up. If I had to start picking blue cards instead to go, is it? I could. But I really don't like it. Because I think these are very strong. Th these two are very strong. But yeah, these packs have not been great for us. I agree with that. Is Thousand Year Storm worth anything? I don't think so. 76 cents. It's hard. It's more like a feeling you have to have. Like, you have to feel like you're in the right colors. I guess I could just take Piston Fist. Forrest, what's going on, buddy? Whatever, I'll take Glaive. Oh, you just get another one anyway. Like, we could still be... Is it if the cards come... These cards are so bad. Maximize Velocity is fine in both decks, so I will take it because I really don't feel like committing to Boros just yet. I don't think I don't think Glaive is decent filler. I think Glaive is uh, it's it's very good in the decks that can use it. I think you only need like even if you have just one Guild Gate, if you have a, a an equipment that gives plus one plus O, oh, and uh, menace and vigilance, it's very strong. Wow, these packs are just terrible. Oh boy. Not thrilled about this. Um, I feel like we're going to do another, another bad like we did yesterday. We're going to do another bad, guys. I mean, we have two more packs. This is not a terrible 11 cards, but it's really not great. So. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. This Hey Frank clip makes me laugh every single time. It's actually ridiculous. And I... Oh, there you go. There you go. It's your boy. Yeah, this guy's worth like 10 tickets. We could also just be Rakdos, clearly. Yeah, I mean, we're definitely taking this. I, I hate passing this and this, but I don't... Yeah, it's 10 tickets. Oh, a Conclave Tribunal. That's where you want to be. That's that's so, that's so where you want to be, yeah? Yeah, we're going to take that thing. Why are you here? Go here. Rock Charger? All right, now we're getting somewhere. God, the foil is worth 34 tickets. That's ridiculous. Yeah, TV and I are exactly exactly on the same page there. Uh, the reason the foils, uh, the foil mythics specifically go for so much more on Magic Online is because you can redeem them for foil sets. So if you have like a foil thousand year 
Storm, for example, which is not even a card that you would even really play. Um, where did it go? It's still worth $5 in foil because you still need a copy of it. Nullhide Ferox worth 27 foil. Wow. Golgari Fine Broker and a Night Veil Predator. That's pretty ridiculous. Thank you. Yeah, Adam Kiyonaga with the with the sub. Thank you so much, buddy. You're my favorite. Too clever for smart. Thank you so much for the sub. Adam, what's going on, buddy? If I go to GP Portland, will I, will I see you there? I'm real tempted to be like, uh, yeah, I'll just take this guy. Or I can just be the Golgari deck. God, I'm real tempted. I haven't committed to Portland yet, but you guys make it real tempting. Can we audible into Grixis? Probably not. I think we just take Sworn Companions here. Uh, God. Anyway, we're pushing other people into these colors, so that's good. Inspiring Unicorn is fine here. Parheleon Patrol, probably better than a 2-drop. We have a... There's a ton of 2-drops we can get. I'd rather have some of these more uh, game-changing 4-drops. Dude, go go Gari. Dude, go go... Go go Gari is really hard to say. It sounds like you're just choking on marbles. My team is all 45 plus and sometimes still have a rough time fully understanding the job profile of a streamer. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. What do they do? They just play video games and people watch them and they support them playing video games by donating and subscribing? I don't understand. I don't follow. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is this a different pack? That's a. am grateful for this Crater Maker. I am grateful for this Legionnaire. All right, so now we're seeing things that we want to be seeing. That was a really... I think that was an eighth pick Legionnaire and a... Kind of like Hawk here. Wow, that's a late banneret. Okay, well, this is this is nice. Go go Gari three times fast, and you'll have done a pretty solid. Go go Gari, go go Gari, go go Gari. Go, 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 go. I feel like I'm <laughs> go 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 go. That's yeah, that's not that's something right there. <sighs> random creature. Random creature. Not a random creature. Well, neither of the... Goblin Locksmith is not one of the premier two drops in this deck. Um, I think... Well, obviously the, the two color ones are all very good. Like the Legion Guild Mage or the Boros Mentor, I think it's called. Banneret, what's your price for flight? That's good. That's a little, uh, little sister Christian, sister bounty agent. Yeah, that's not what we're looking for. That is also not a premier two drop, unfortunately. I'll just take command of the storm here, and we'll hope they pass the Aurelia because they opened up an assassin's trophy. Rock Chagar sounds like something an orc would say in Warcraft. Rock Chagar! Frank got a premier two drop during the break. Wow. Wow. That's a poop reference. This would be fine broker number three for those playing along at home. I feel like I can always find three fine brokers when I draft. I don't understand it. I think we're just taking the fresh face recruit here because there's really nothing else, but boy, whoever's getting that third, that fine brokers, that's a lucky dude. Another banneret or a bodyguard. I actually like bodyguard a lot because it mentors under most of these creatures. Uh, 
I can't tell if Rock Chigar actually does mean that because. Because it might. Yeah, whenever whenever sports fans don't get esports, it always blows my mind. And they're like, "But you can, but you can, can't you just play the video game?" And I'm like, "Can't you just play football?" <laughs> like, yeah, it works both ways, bro. I'm just gonna take the bodyguard. I don't think I want a second banner it. Crackling Drake. So the, in this draft, we've seen we've seen Firebrand, we've seen three fire or fine broker rather. We've seen three fine brokers. We've seen Crackling Drake, and we've seen Nightfell Predator. What we have not seen is any of the Boros ones, which is unfortunate. And let's take another Parhelion because that will definitely take the place of this idiot. I guess Demotion is fine. We're not going to take Erratic Cyclops in this deck. Ugh, God. What's your price for flight? I like having a Cosmotronic Wave. I can't see playing it. Actually, Shieldmate's probably better, right? I think it's better than Locksmith. We're probably not playing Glaive in the Zero Guildgate deck. Probably not playing Cyclops either. Does Rob call Demotion Demoing? No, no, no. He calls it Deeming because he... he... You know what? Maybe he does. I don't actually know. This is... This guy's probably better than Locksmith here. Oh, Smelt Ward Minotaur. That's pretty good. That's a playable gentleman. All right, again, this deck looks pretty good. <clears throat> However, I'm not sure what that means. Hey, it's the dude from the it's the dude from the pack that we didn't know who it was. This is the same pack guy. Who are you, pack guy? Oh, the bounty agent came back. We can bring that in in case they have Aurelia, or, you know any monster really Rob does say a lot of nonsense and it's hard, it's hard to keep track of it I agree with you I'm just gonna take all the uh, all the rares do you remember do you, were you guys playing back when uh, Champions of Kamigawa was in standard and and cranial extraction was a $20 rare it actually this is strictly better than shield mate yeah it's a good it's a good point Wow, a lot of fire urchins coming around. But shield, but shield mate might actually be better than fire urchin here. Hmm. That's Doctor Pacty. <laughs> Oh, man. <clears throat> Yeti Blitz? I don't think Yeti Blitz is a card, right? I've never heard of Yeti Blitz before. What the hell is Yeti Blitz? What the freak is Yeti Blitz? I feel like you mistyped something. Alright, so I don't care about any of these cards. It's either Fire Urchin or Shield Mate here. I'm not sure. I think it's probably Fire Urchin. Uh, I definitely don't want to give Hammer Dropper a shot. I don't think this guy's great. Two toughness is pretty rough. Two toughness is the roughness, as they say. I don't know if they say that or not. It's hard to tell. I think we're good like this. We'll just 9-8 it. Yeah, 
that's fine. All right, I'm in it to win it. Okay, break me off a piece of that Yeti Blitz. Oh my God. Hammer Dropper is pretty buff though. I'd give him a smooch. <laughs> well, two toughness is the roughness. That's actually, uh, that's true. It's a true story. The two toughness, two toughness is the roughness is the Frank Lepore story. You guys can check it out. It's going to be on AMC soon. In a world with two toughness, it was the roughness. In a world with only two lands, he needed a third land. Break me off a piece of that two toughness is the roughness. Land. Oh, we're so good at this game. I'm just going to attack here. If you want to trade, that's fine. Here comes a Wario Cappy. Oh, a tutu. Oh, it's a little tutu. Huh. I'm almost tempted to play this guy because I think we can get in next turn and make a dude. But it might be better to just get Legionnaire down and start bashing. Okay, just uh, for those keeping track at home, only one player of these two has missed two land drops so far, so... Just something to keep in mind. In a world of 17 land decks, only one man misses two of his land drops. Crawl Foragers, coming to a Crawl Forager near you. Bonk em. Who's your Super Smash Bros main? I don't actually play enough Smash Bros to have a main. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Can I has the Marshall? Oh, it's a little unicorn. Oh, it's little uni. God, he's so weird sometimes. Pretty sure we're just alpha here. Under the sea. Under the sea, under the sea, it's just for me, under the sea, do, 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 do. yeah, you got it, can't sure strike that guy, oh, you got two, no, they changed their mind, block, double block, okay, so, Uh, yeah, this is good enough to do. Even if you have Righteous Blow, it doesn't do anything. If you have Charge, I kill this guy, and then my guy lives, and that's that's the end of the game. Okay, so. Well, we at least won a game. It's a good sign for a Boros deck.
Life is much better where things are wetter. Take it from me. Downward sweater? Down downward sweater? Is that the song? You guys you guys ever see that uh that Disney movie The Little Mermaid? It's an independent film. It's a good movie. You guys should check it out. The Small Fish Woman, a classic. Is that where there's a prince and a princess and a handsome prince and a bad? That is the same one. I th I can tell you've seen it. You're clearly familiar with with Disney. Uh, with that specific Disney movie and no others. One drop. Healer's Hawk. God, we're so good at this game. Lucky, 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 lucky. <clears throat> this guy actually does a hell of a lot of work. I feel like we've already won this game. <laughs> wow, one, three, and then four simulations. That's good. Getting all them prime numbers. <clears throat> I guess two is also a prime number. There you go. Billy's got it covered. I guess four is not a prime number, though. So, you know, nothing I said is correct. Graham21, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. A merry little welcome. Let your heart be buzz. Scootin' do 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 God, we have so much life right now. I think the one with the male looking prince was gotta be Beauty and the Beast, right? Because Gaston. Was Gaston a prince? He was kinda like the reverse prince, where it's like, well, he's a he's kinda like royalty, but he's kind of a shitbird. Oh, look at that monument. Huh. Well, this could be good. I like this better because next time we can play Parhelion and Maximize Velocity. I wish we had a second white here, but... Is the beast an actual prince? That's pretty funny. He was top hunter. <laughs> that makes sense, actually. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. Yeah, Gaston is the guy from your high school that was really popular that loves the Olive Garden and has never left his hometown, like the meme. God, we're taking seven here. Are we going to be able to race this? Probably because we're we're champions white mana or any mana any mana any mana any land It's not really what we're looking for, but I think it's okay Definitely gonna lifelink all over this dude Like we're getting three a turn now, that's pretty good they're at 12? Good lord, we're killing them. Well, Dev Champion doesn't get you out of this mess. No one life links like Gaston. No one floats like Gaston. I probably could have blocked here, actually. That would have been good for us. Can I get a land? I just... Yes! Yes! <clears throat> this is actually very good. I'm pretty sure this might be the game. If not, it's going to be very, very close. If 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We were dealing eleven in the air. Yeah, this is this is this is unreal. unreal this is an unreal game. Woo! I got the vapors. Yeah, you know, like you'd say in the south. Did it. Did it. Honestly, though, Gaston was probably correct to raid the castle. He just saw a magic mirror, a monster, and an abductee with Stockholm Syndrome. There was a clear security issue that needed to... I actually agree with you. I think I've seen an article about this before, and I was like... Yeah, that's a good point. He's... I mean, this is literally a werewolf creature. It's It looks cute to us because, like, he's animated. So he's animated in, like, a, a playful kind of way. But, like, in real life, that dude probably looks terrifying. So, uh, yeah, man, I agree. That's funny. But to be fair, that doesn't make Gaston's character any less douchey, right? He may have been in the right in that particular instance, but nonetheless, he's still kind of a douchey dude. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Three, four drops, a one red drop, and no mountains. See you later, hand. Oh, this is a, this is a, this is a worse hand. Maybe. I guess we get a one drop. We get a two. If we get one, one mountain planes off the top, that's not not what I was asking for. But I appreciate your your attempt, Magic Online. <clears throat> no one douches like that. That doesn't sound right at all. Land land would be good. Three lands, and I'll actually take it. Oh, you get a forest. Are you gonna put the forest back? No, no one ever puts the forest back. Okay, well, that's not the right order. I wanted to play this guy first and then play one of these two, but, I, you know, I appreciate your your effort. Fascinating. Interesting. In the live-action version, it's implied that him being a jerk is a reaction to un unknowledged PTSD. That's actually really interesting. Because that makes sense. And it kind of makes him less of a jerk. Not less of a jerk, but it makes him more a, sympath a more sympathetic jerk, I guess. Yep. Well, it was meant to be, right, guys? We, we had a really crushing game match one, so it was only it's only natural that we missed two land drops. Well, we missed one land drop, I guess, but... There's still time. There's still time. We did it. What a day. What a what a glorious day. Um Hmm. Oh, we're definitely attacking here. Thank you. I'm really tempted to play Healer's Hawk, but that seems like a bad use. Ryperk, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. No one subs like Gaston. That's true. No one does. We could direct current to this thing just to kill it. We could just play Hawk and yeah, we'll just play Hawk here. Hawk air. <laughs> and then in that case, we should have actually pumped this guy instead of not. Which would have, yeah. So if they die at two or less life, I will be. Or if they they if we die at two or less life, I will be uh, utterly distraught. I will have her block either one of these guys. Well, now I will definitely block you. Gold pig bounces right out of the cup. Gold piggies. Every day. You're at eight now, brah. I feel like attacking is not in your best interest anymore. You have four cards in hand and five mana. What's even going on right now? Frank is my favorite Disney princess. I'll take it. Zaxor, did you say the package was in route like you were you already sent it, or it's being 
um, created. I wasn't sure what you meant the other day, but I was excited either way. No one. Well, Zach Sword just messaged me on Twitch, so now I can find out the truth. I think. Or Discord? Or Twitch? Twitch. Okay. I think. What did you just kill? Did you just kill my Tajik? You're a Tajerk is what you are. Take care now. <laughs> Zach's working the best, dude. <laughs> Love it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Unfortunately, if we don't attack, we just have to block. So we take five, six, seven, eight. They have one card in hand. I guess we can actually just trade here. If we really wanted to. It's an interesting trade. I guess we have nothing on board, though. Forest, you're doing the good. You're doing the Lord's work, buddy. Uh huh. I think we might be dead. It's just a feeling I get. We missed two land drops, unfortunately. They can pump the Veiled Shade up to a 5-5. Five, five. Huh. We can't... We don't really have an option other than killing this guy right now, unfortunately. If we play this, we're just going to have to block here and then they kill us. So, this is the only real play we have options we have access to. If we draw a two drop, however, we can play that. If they tap out four Veiled Shade this turn, we can kill it. However, they would also deal us six when we go to one. So we would have to find a two drop for the Assassin. We're not dead, but we are pretty close to dead. I don't actually know what the Mitch Bucks are. I actually had to enable um, giveaways through Streamlabs. And I'm pretty sure that's how that works but I don't think it actually they're not I don't think they're for anything streamlabs I shut everything off more settings all right hold on oh six six yeah now we're definitely now we're definitely dead why do we keep we have nine eight I think I'm pretty sure we have more white than red yeah we draw like this is the second game we've gotten white screwed Oh, goodness gracious. All right. I think our deck seems fine. Elk Tears, good luck at FNM, buddy. Are they comparable to Shroot Bucks? I think so. I think so. Okay, I think I shut it off because it wasn't doing anything. I will play first. <sighs> it 
any land and we have another we have another any 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 mountain here is good and then we have three drops Oh, uh, the deck definitely changed a lot. Force pitch force. Um, this was the final list. It's it's definitely a, a change from the original, but you can uh, it will be up on the YouTube's, the tubes of you, uh, probably on Sunday morning. I don't know if I can keep this hand. I think I'm gonna keep it because any land is good. God, it's so bad though. I'm just hoping we can have 20 turns to kill with Healer Sock. Theoretically, if we hit two land drops, we are in great shape, but it's... I am accepting the fact right now that that is a gamble. God, we're so good at this game. <laughs> it's unreal. Oh, boy. Lucky, 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 lucky. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this frigging game. Oh god, I was so excited about getting a 2 2. That was so stupid. Oh my god. <sighs> 2 2 flyer would have been such a game. Such a game. Yep, that changed the entire game. That was so bad. So bad. This is where I beat myself up over it for the rest of the game. Yikes, that was so bad. I just totally mentally... Wow. I totally mentally blanked on how um, Mentor works. God. <sighs> yep, 2 2 would have killed the 2 2 instead. Um, they wouldn't have a Plague Crafter on board. There's always Hearthstone. I mean, like, Hearthstone has even harder sequencing decisions to make. Well, on the bright side, they're a little stuck on land here, so... Seems fine. All right, I think we're in good shape, but this is where they go land, come back. I'm ready for it, I'm ready. Swamp Fine Broker. God, I can't believe this stupid healer's hawk. It changed the course of the entire game. I mean, we're still okay right now, but no attack. Well, that is interesting.
I guess they have to block or else they go to six. I have to assume they have Pax Favor here. They have five cards in their hand. They have to have something. Yep. All right. Unicorn. I think we I think we got I think we recovered. I guess we actually don't have a reason to attack with this. Like, it just gives them a free block. I mean, it does make this a 3-2 and a 3-3. Or 3-4 and a 3-3, but, I mean... If they kill one of these, they have to kill both, so... Assassin's Trophy... Must be nice. Yep. Just gotta have an answer for this guy. All right, Sky Knight Legionnaire does the job. Let's not forget how Mentor works in the next game. Whew. That was something. I almost like Demotion here. Demotion might be very, very good. They do have Plague Crafter. Hmm. I think we're good. I think our deck is good. I think this is fine. Any white source, and it's very good. Fire Urchin into Rock Charger into Parhelion is not bad. I just need a Plains. Okay, well, we could get better. I want to get better, better. Two turns to draw white. That seems reasonable. Okay, well. <laughs> I guess I was asking a lot. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, if you want to Pax favor this guy, I'm totally fine with it. There are not very many deal one damage cards in this format, so. You got it. White mana, one time for Rocky Rock. Boro stumbling on lands is so stupid. Plague Crafter and Whisper Agent. It's good to see. Okay, none of these guys are super threatening right now. Oh, 
<sighs> Never fails. I don't understand. Like, two games out of three is, is really I'm going to get massacred? I hate to complain. Like, it's just not pleasant, but... <laughs> they kept this back, I think, because I feel like they have a Siege Worm in their hand. I want to take two in case that is the case. Because if we were able to kill and block one, then they still have seven mana to cast it. Yep. Exactly what I said. Yep. So if we end up killing this guy, they still want to keep their seven mana. This is also why we kept the Sure Strike, so I can use it against the Siege Worm. Oh boy, fashionably late to the party. I didn't know it was long. I think we're still in good shape here, which is fascinating. Yeah, being able to just strike here and also kill one of these guys is pretty good if they want to attack. Otherwise, they just attack with Siege Worm, and that is pretty okay with us. <sighs> yeah. It's worse when you take seven. I would rather have them kill that, obviously, but I need to be able to stabilize the board here. I mean, if they kill this too, then we take seven and go to four, and then we're just basically dead because we can't put two guys on the board, so... Yep. So if we hit a land, maybe we have an answer because we can put two guys on the board, but if we don't hit a land, then we die. All right. Hope you don't have a removal spell in your last two cards. Three cards, I guess. <sighs> Fantastic. Big fan. Never fails. <laughs> I guess we could have played Tajik there, and then we at least don't die if they're able to kill one of our guys. Uh, and we still died if we if they keep this. The problem is like, prey upon had to be the removal spell for us to have one guy. Like if, if they just kill one of our guys, we would have still been dead if it was just a regular removal spell, because they still have three guys to our one guy, and we would have taken four. So we played that. Not thinking it would be a... Sarah, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. It's just exhausting, man. Like, it's exhausting to lose your matches to... I mean, like, even the game we got... Uh, we messed up with the Healer Hawk play, which I totally acknowledge was my fault. Like, we still won that match because we hit our land drops. 
it's it's obnoxious to draft a deck that you feel is extremely powerful and then lose basically because you can't cast your spells. I just feel like it happens too frequently. Uh, you basically just said you need to play two guys, but then you played a creature that's basically doesn't that that's basically doesn't there by itself. That doesn't, yeah. But if they still have to have a removal spell, if they if we play two creatures that are by themselves, let's say we play Smelt Warder and Bounty Hunter, if they have one removal spell, they can still kill us because they have three creatures to our one creature and we die. It doesn't matter. It, the point is we played Bodyguard because it's the biggest creature we have, and if they kill one of our creatures. We're dead anyway, so it doesn't matter that the bodyguard can block. The only situation we're not dead anyway is if they have prey upon. So, yes, we could have played around that, but I think the odds of us having a bodyguard in play and being able to to block their 2-2s and not have to trade is much stronger uh, than just trading a Tajik for a 2-2. So I think that's a risk I'm going to take, but it doesn't... As far as, like... This not being a blocker on its own doesn't matter because every other situation where it's the only blocker, we already die because we're taking four or five damage and we're at four. Like it's it's weird because like it's a Jeskai deck or it's a it's a Boros deck. It's a more aggressive than most of the decks in the format, but like I'm still running seventeen lands, so there's no reason why I should be missing my land drops this frequently. Like, do I just play 18 lands in the Boros deck, or do I just not play Magic Online anymore? What's the, what's, what's the better alternative? <laughs> in fact, I'm not sure. You still didn't see why I went for Woj? I just explained it, though. Oh, okay. Got it, got it, got it. Sixteen land and smaller curve than three drop, three drop, two drop, one drop, two drop. Like the only expensive card in our hand is four. I shouldn't like I shouldn't have to build a different deck to hit a third land drop. Like it's just not an unreasonable thing to have to do. If any other deck, any like even my opponent, they have three lands. I'm sure they have an aggressive Boros deck, but they can hit their, their land drops. I don't understand why I'm not hitting land drops. Hmm. I don't know what we need better content means. Four lands. <laughs> Do you get a gold watch after one year? <laughs> okay. Appreciate it. Good constructive criticism. Thank you. Don't time people out for that. They're welcome to their opinion. I just think it's not a very that's not a very intelligent or constructive opinion. That's all. I've been making content for over ten years now, and uh, seems to be working out so far. So I have no idea if that was a legit insult. It's almost it sounds almost like a meme. Like I mean, he spelled your, your, and your out, Y-O-U-R, all three times in the first comment, and then the second one says you are. So I don't understand why you'd have both of those in your in your spelling repertoire, but here we are. I mean, I think the only saving grace in this match is that we don't have a lot of pressure, but still missed two land drops so far.
<laughs> it's also comical when people who've never said anything in the chat, uh, the one thing they do choose to say is just negative and shitty. Like, that's weird. Contribute more. Never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> I read what you put out. This is my forum to say something. What is that? But you're not being constructive or like helpful. You're just literally being a shitbird. <laughs> just saying something negative for the sake of being negative. I also, I don't know what I read what you put out means. I didn't... What did I put out? Uh, I'm not... Yeah, but I don't know what that... Like, I said your beard and hair and Okay, well, thanks, I guess. I don't know what that means. <laughs> hey... That's a great shirt you have on, but the content you've been producing for 10 years is not good. Oh, all right. Well, that's good. It's probably just Bodyguard here. They have two cards. We're going to take one, two, three, four. That should be fine. <sighs> Yeah, it's a it's a compliment. Yeah, it's a it's a criticism sandwich. Whatever, bros, do what you have to do. I don't know what I don't know. I have no idea what any of the things you're saying mean. Nazi mods always win. Yeah, you're a real pleasant person. <laughs> Nazi mods. Oh my god. They timed you out for ten minutes and then they untimed you out. Like, what? Are you, who are you even talking to right now? <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> Oh my god, you have to, like, people like that, I don't understand. Who are your friends? Who are the people who are who are enjoying being around you? Like, your negativity and your, like, god, your hyper-protective defensive attitudes. Like, who are you? Who are your friends? Who wants to spend time with you when you act like that? I don't understand it. If we were like, hey man, you want to go get some food? Yeah, let's call Jay Myers and see if he wants to hang out. No one would do that because, like... You're just going to bring everybody down. You're just negative. But I, I said you had a nice beard. Oh, I guess that's true. Thanks. Got him. All right. All right. Let's do the thing. Uh... <laughs> yeah, these are the people who actually never act like that in public. They just, like, have all this pent-up negativity and they just build it up online. Oh, one Nazi mod buck. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it. Anyway. Just a weird thing to do. I'm going to go into the stream and I'm going to criticize this person. I'm not going to tell them how to improve. I'm not going to tell them what I dislike and what I do like. I'm not going to tell them how to make their stream better. I'm just going to shit on them. All right. Well, hey, buddy. It's your life. You do you. Oh, it's what guys... Yes, that's actually a great point. Negging. That's totally... That's totally accurate. That seems so accurate right now. Negging is a way... Uh, it's a social... It's a social thing that you do to to bring people down. Um, to make it seem like you're better than them. Uh, it's a it's a, it's a really, really strong... It's a, not a strong, but like um, a really prominent tactic that guys use when they can't get women. When they can't get uh, people that to be interested in them. They kind of insult them, and uh, they make those people feel inferior so that uh, those people second-guess themselves and are like, well, maybe, hmm, maybe I'm not better than this guy, and maybe this guy is uh, better than me. Maybe I should just go for the... Yeah, it's... it's I'm, I'm probably not explaining it correctly, but it's, um, it's a shitty thing to do, and uh, don't do it. 
Righteous blow on that guy. All right. Your beard is shit, but your content is great. <laughs> well, I know that's not true. How dare you? All right. It's actually not. It's, it feels like it's almost the reverse of a superior complex. It's it's actually, it's almost an inferiority complex where they feel inferior to someone, so they shit on them and put them down to make themselves feel better about what they do, which is ultimately nothing. Yes, I think that's true. I think when you neg someone, they're like, well, that's not correct. All right, so this guy flying is pretty scary. We're definitely going to tribunal this dude. I wish this was an instant, like, or uh, I wish it said flash rather, like, uh, cast out. <laughs> you have a great beard, but you're an abject failure. Frankly, I don't know what such a great beard is doing hanging out with you. I, I don't either. I ask myself every day what this beard is doing here. I wish I had an answer for you. I don't. That's a good turn. I think we're going to have to conclave this guy for obvious reasons. Or we can conclave this because it's very strong. It's very strong. I think we're actually going to keep the Minotaur back and conclave the Rock Charger. What's happening? Oh, just some 100 progress bits. Thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You can stay home. We want the life here. One, two, three, one, two. Actually, we can play Tajik. Now we can't play Tajik and get rid of the dude. Your content is beard, but your shit is great. Agreed. I like how much this is, uh... It's gotta be this guy, right? But then they get another trigger off this guy. They can attack for four, though, which is pretty scary. Your beard is beard, but your beard is beard. That's... That's all I've ever wanted someone to say to me. We can also... I think we have to get rid of this guy. They mentor onto the hawk again, and it's basically like... Actually, we can't block, right? So we can actually play Tajik here. And then mentor onto this guy. And then they, they're like going to give their guy flying anyway. So, yeah, let's do that. I read, I read POS thing as a piece of shit. I did the same thing. I was like, wait. Bakachi died. Thank you so much. Just joking. Your beard is as great as your god. <laughs> Which means not great at all, actually. Just to be clear. Anyway, you guys are great. I love you all. Alright, so one, two, three, four. If they have Sudden Strike or anything that deals three. If they have a four power guy or a three. If it's like we couldn't even get around it because they have the charger, so this guy would kill us anyway. Here we go. Hammer dropper, give it haste, kill us. Oh my f just want to like we couldn't get around that unless we got rid of rock charger in which case this guy deals us three and uh it's still pretty bad because they would have four three and three three which means they can or four two five two and four two which means this guy would be a four power guy and we have no real way of dealing with this so it's just five six seven eight nine perfect just incredible had a pretty good recovery but uh Can't deal with... Here comes the 1-2. One, 1-2 two. One, two incoming, guys. 1-2 incoming. Ready? Ready? 
Man, you guys are killing this chat right now. I will play first. Another one. Another one lander. Okay. Reasonable. No longer working in school, so I can't wear my hobbit robes and fix computers with my wand anymore. I think you still can. You just don't. You just choose not to. I want to put this on the top just because I maybe probably should have bottomed it. Like our odds of hitting a fourth land in this amount of time is pretty pretty high. Ideally though, we'll never hit another land after that, so that that would be nice. I'm actually surprised at how much a turn one hawk is like problematic. It's gonna be a land. This also hindered us from hitting a two drop, unfortunately. Watch, it's gonna be a two drop on top, and it's our biggest uh, our biggest mistake this game would have been not bottoming the the land. Probably just gonna kill this guy because I'd like to. Okay. Oh man, Torch Courier. Is this card playable in this Mentor deck? In like the Boros decks? I don't feel like it is, but... God, giving other things haste or being able to Mentor onto it is not terrible. It's just not where I want to be spending my mana, that's for sure. Righteous Blow? No Righteous Blow. Okay. I just want everyone to know I put on Cologne before FNM for no real reason. Uh, I think you had a reason. The reason is just because you want to smell good. There ain't nothing wrong with that. There ain't nothing wrong with that. I mean, your content sucks, but you smell good. That's good. Hmm. If they had Righteous Blow, they probably would have killed this last turn unless they want to double block. Or like block and shoot. Block and shoot and block and shoot and block and shoot. Never didn't has it. You finished last at FNM, but your clone is on point. Boy, I just crushed that dude. He was really terrible, but boy, he smelled good, didn't he? He sure did. He sure did. All right, so this is this is what Alpha City looks like, which they built on rock and roll. In case you guys were unaware, you are gonna bolster on to your on your boy. Did you see that Drowner of Hope that just floated across the screen? I always find it interesting what cards that float across. I think it's like whatever Eldrazi you played against last that was loaded into the client last. It's very interesting. No one said you smelled good. I believe the comment was, your poop smelled good. That's, well, that's something, isn't it? That quality clip is fantastic. All right, this game, I think we're okay. 
just shows that Eldrazi are the best and should be in every game all the time. Is that what it shows? Do 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 Gonna delete this. I said something nice. I said your beard and hair was nice. <laughs> like, well, Jesus, what a what a socially awkward human being. We all float down here. That is correct. Where's that from? Is that from... That's from It? I've actually never seen It before. Is that weird? It feels weird. I haven't seen either it. I've never seen any of the it's. Your beard is on point, bud, is the new insult. Huge fan, though. <laughs> hey, your beard's... Hey, your content sucks, but your beard's on point. Oh, thanks. I will keep... Hawk. Hey man, three lands? That's all I could ever ask for. Look at this little turn two little cutie. Hey guys! You got it. I feel like I should catch up on a lot of horror movies. There's a lot of horror movies I should catch up on. Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna play this first because I don't know why. I don't think it, I think I think it's fine. Either way. Next time we can go bounty agent into maximum velocity. What should I have for dinner? I don't actually know. Oh, no attacks. No attacks and no guys? Tajik. Tajik? Old Freshy McFacerton. Okay. Sweet Tomato sounds amazing. However, I am not... I don't, I don't like going to Sweet Tomatoes alone. That seems like more of a group thing. If you guys want to come hang out with me, we can go to Sweet Tomatoes. I have coupons for like three bucks off dinners. All right, so now comes Hammer Dropper. Yep, like you do. Let's go. Infinite salads and soups and pizza breads. Oh, Tajik fashion late to the party. Wow, one turn off. One turn up. Turn up? One turn up? Hmm. Huh. I kind of want to tribunal this guy because he's a real pain Ugh. what sweets made is I'm free tonight could jump on a flight and be there in say seven hours it's probably close to six lots of things we can do here we can Tajik they would have to trade which I think is okay. If they don't, it's actually a good amount of damage. But if they don't, then we just keep Tajik. So I think we're going to do that.
If you pay my plane ticket, I buy the food and bring ditch candy. Ditch candy? And you have to wait like 12 plus hours. Well, we'd probably just go tomorrow then. I don't know what ditch candy is, but it doesn't sound great. Oh, Dutch candy. See, that's more that that's more like it. Now you're speaking my Dutch language. I don't have my own Dutch language. I was just kidding. Yeah, this is a fine trade. Oh, oh, we're not trading. I see. So I'm going to take five, six. Oh, they're probably just going to play like four, two barging Minotaur and then attack for a million. Yeah, we're just dead here. Yeah, candy from a ditch is what I was... It, oh, I see. That's also good. Candy from a ditch is what I was thinking. And uh, it did not sound that good. I'll be honest. I would love a direct current here. That would be great. Because being able to kill this hammer dropper is really all I ever want. A land would also be fine. Oh, well, that that's kind of like a direct current, right? Just don't have take. Oh, yes. All right, we did it. Righteous blow. Yep. Hey, bro, I found this candy in a ditch. Let's eat it. Um, hmm. You know, I'm good. I think I'm going to pass. I appreciate the offer. It's kind of you. But I'm just going to pass. I think we're still winning this race. I think. I would like a land. That was nice of you. All right. We probably could have attacked there, actually. Giving this guy uh, sure strikeable. Sure strike ability would have been nice. Because um, then it's three, four, it's six damage. They take three and they lose their rock charger. They have one card in hand. I think we're, I think we're crushing it. They call it the riches from the ditches. Floridian ditch candy is world renowned. Hey, you guys want to hang out and get some riches from the ditches? N no one, no one wants that. Two cards in hand, huh? Uh, we could maximize our velocity twice here. Maximize here, maximize on bounty agent, attack with everybody. I don't hate that. Discard Command the Storm, I guess. I think I saw a documentary. Yeah, that was a. I think there was a Vice documentary on Ditch Candy. Oh, actually, this guy would be huge, wouldn't he? So we would maximize on you for three, but this guy would also be three. But I guess, and then you would be, then you would be three as well. So we actually wouldn't mentor onto anyone. So if we sure strike though, we could do that. Could also just attack for two. What up, Avast Games? Hmm. The riches from the ditches. I feel like they just block if we sure strike here. But then we get a 3-5, which is pretty big. Whatever. I'm going to assume you don't have something like Command the Storm in hand. I don't I need to eat food, but I don't have food and I don't want to make food. Who will bring me food? You know, buddy, we're trying to plan our dinner with our ditch candy and you're just all bring me the food. And you know what? It's kind of Oh, are you going to really sure strike this guy? Holy Jesus. What is my life? My god.
Well, if you attack, you're probably dead. So I don't think you're attacking. Aggressive. Land would be nice here. That's a land. So now... I think we can win this game. We want to get rid of this guy because they're going to have to block, so I'd rather have them block in such a way that does not facilitate a trade. And that'll do it. All right. You could have just blocked. Woo! Back on the winning side of things. Really appreciate the support. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I am not leaving. I don't know if you guys know this. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. But if you're watching on YouTube, I am leaving. Check me out on Patreon and Twitch. Links are in the description below. You can also find the link to MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. If you want to use my affiliate link, you get 15% off. You also get a uh, free shipping and free returns. And it helps me out, helps you out. And you get some of the com most comfortable micromodal underwear or lounge pants or tees or socks you could ever imagine uh additionally apologies for the uh the content rant in the middle of this video uh was not my intention but uh do do me a favor do yourself a favor don't be the guy that just shits on things contribute something positive make the place that you go to be it a stream or a comment section or somebody's house make those places better than they were before you got there not worse just that's all that's all i can say thank you for watching really appreciate it i'll see you guys next time